Dub Nation, what's going on? It's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video, guys. And this video is strictly for people on the Facebook group, the Rico DTG Facebook group. Um, I promised to make this video to help some people understand the ColorGate software and some hurdles that most of us that are new to the Rico DTG, especially specifically the ColorGate software, to help you get up and running, guys, because it is. It's simple, but it is a little complicated because it's a new interface that none of us are familiar with. So let's jump straight into the ColorGate software, guys. Okay, so this is the ColorGate software. After you've downloaded it, this is what you're gonna get right here. Um, and basically it's just four panels. You got your archive queue, right? You got your rip queue, you got your print queue, and then this is the area where your image pops up in, right? So the main thing that you wanna know is when you rip something, uh, the image that you import goes right here. Then when you send it to rip, send it to burn and be analyzed by the ColorGate software, it goes over here, then it goes over here, then it has to finish processing. After it's finished processing, it comes back down here. All right, so before we do any of that, we have to set up the area where the .prn file it's a .prn file. Well, the .prn file saves, okay? So let me show you guys where the .prn file, um, how you set that up. So you go to printer, you go to properties, and then you go to printer port. Click on printer port, and this is where you set up where the path for the file for ColorGate to save the .prn file so you can find it because the .prn file is a file that the Rico DTG reads, and this is what I had issues finding out and, and a lot of people are saying like, hey, I'm putting this file into the Rico and it's not working because you're putting the native file that's native to the, um, the ColorGate software and not the file that exported by the ColorGate software, which is .prn file. So what I did was I created a folder on my desktop called PRN files. Let me show you guys. Um, let me cancel this real fast. I'm going to move this to the side right here. So see, PRN files. So I created a folder. You can create your folder and um, put it wherever you'd like to. So basically you're gonna go to printer, you're gonna go to properties, you're gonna go to this tab right here that says printer port, and then you're going to press these little dots right here on the side, and you are going to navigate to your folder, right? So in my case, it's desktop.prn files and select folder, and that's it, that's my path. So you press OK. So after I'm done doing my stuff in the color gate, it's going to save that PRN file to that folder. All right. So then you click on this folder icon right here. It opens up a window. Navigate to wherever your image is. Uh, it might most likely send you a downloads folder. And I'm going to just use this image for um, uh, just for, you know, just to show you guys how this works. OK, so I'm going to use. Um, OK. I'm gonna use this image right here, all right? Just for demonstration purposes. Click. So now the software ingests the photo. It's a PNG. You wanna use PNGs that have the transparency, transparent background. So after the software ingests the photo, you can click on it once and the photo will come up, up over here. After it's done ingesting, Okay, now you, most of, in most cases your photo is going to be too big and to, you only see a portion of it. So you're going to double click and it's going to open this up right here. All right, so let's start from over here. The first one, you're not really going to mess with this right here. Workflow, you're not really going to mess with that. All right, um, you're going to mess with these four tabs right here. Printer, job, color, and rip. Those are the main four things that you're going to mess with. So let's start with printer. Printer, Rico R1000, obviously, and this is what you're going to adjust. Most of the times, you're going to use a medium platen because that's what came with the Rico DTG. If you have a large platen, you select large platen, right? Or if you bought another platen, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the medium platen came with the DTG. All right, so then you go to job. All right, job, you want to scale your image to the size of the platen. Only thing you're going to do is you're going to uncheck scale. And then you're going to start putting this number down. All right. So I'm going to go 17 and see how these, um, uh, these marks right here, um, whatever they're called, you can correct me in the comments down below, whatever they're called ex exclamation points are right here. You want to put it down to the point where no ex 
exclamation point is, is right there. That means it's scaled and the whole image is inside of the um, parameters of the uh, platen that you selected. And you want to leave proportional check because it scales it down proportion. As this number changes, this number adjusts at a proportional even, even area so it doesn't get you know, contorted and disfigured. All right, so 16 is, 17 is too big. Let me go 16, let me go 15, 15 is good. Um, so what I do, I go 16 point, uh, I'll go like 15.8, that's too big, 15.5, 2, 1, um, yeah, so 15.1 works, and then you're going to go here and select align horizontal, which is going to put it in the center, and then you can put like, this number right here will affect whether it's higher or lower. If I put one, it's gonna go down a little bit. If I put zero, it's gonna be like at the top most of the picture. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at zero just so you guys can see. So then you go to color and you're gonna select that you're using what type of what color garment you're using. I'm doing on a black garment, most likely. You know, a lot of us are using black garments. And for, I, I put this on super fine just because it's better than, it's the best option there. So I just put it on super fine. And um, if you're using a white garment, obviously you're going to select white garment, but I'm using, for demonstration purposes, white, black garment. And under RIP, you're going to put, I put enhanced quality, because why not? And then use document transparency. See, since you're using a .png file, you're going to use a document transparency, so that way the background of the PNG is, 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 is gone. It's transparent, right? So I'll click OK, and watch what happens. Over here, watch what happens. It's going to calculate everything, generate a preview, and boom, there you have it. The background was white, and now the background is black, and this is how it's going to appear. You see how this is to the tip top? Watch this. So, like I told you, under jobs, if I put like a one right here, it's going to drop it down. All right. Okay, so now, so let's say our design is ready to be ripped. Um, this design is called Hell City PSD, um, right? So I'm just going to go, I'm going to double click. I'm going to press um, print. See how it went to the second? And now it's, the line is going across like so. All right, just let that finish. And after that finish finishes, it's going to go up to the final one, and that has to do the same thing that this did right here. You gotta wait till it's complete, then it's gonna drop down here. All right, see, right here. Um, and it's gonna do the same thing. Wait till, it, wait, wait till it's completely done processing and drops down to right here. All right, wait till that's done processing. There's also um, printing cost in this program, we're, we're, I'll, I'll touch on that briefly. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but I have a kind of a general, a kind of a general idea of how it works. So we'll see. All right, so that's almost done. Let that finish counting down, and it's gonna come down here. All right, see, now it's down here. Now the file is done being burnt, all right? The time is now 10.22 on the screen. If I go and open up my folders, my finder, then I go to my desktop and look at my .prn files. I'll see that right here at 10.22, which is 10.22 right now, it saved that hellcitypsd.prn file. This is the file that I take from here, um, control C, right? Put my flash drive in and control V, copy it down. Copy and paste it on my flash drive, put that flash drive inside of my Rico R1000, and then I can send that to print, all right? That's how that works. Now, as far as cost calculations, that's something that you have to set up, and um, it, you just generally set up the cost of the shirt that you're using, or an average of the shirt that you're using to get an idea of what's gonna happen. So you go over under here, options, cost calculations, and you select media prices. So for me, t-shirt, and I set that to um, $2.10, right? So you can double click on that, and I put Anvil as my manufacturer, $2.10, all right? Then you press OK, and then you get to go as far as the t-shirt's concerned, and cost calculations for like ink, all right? Um, 
Rico RI1000. Let me double click on that. You put the ink that you're using, right? And um, you put in dollar per milliliter, um, 31 cent per milliliter, all right? There's a formula. I, I'm not, I'm sh I think I plugged that in. I'm not sure. What I did was I took the whole cartridge and how many milliliters was in the cartridge and I think I divided it by the price and I came, that's how I got that number. All right, so you do your calculations and you um, figure out how much money per milliliter is in your cartridges. But we all have the same cartridges, so it's, um, it's pretty much, I rounded, I think I rounded up to 31 cent per milliliter, all right? Because the cartridges, what are they, $62? I forget, $66, $62 each, divided by you know um, how many milliliters, that's how you get the cost. If you wanna see the cost calculations, there's one thing that I didn't do, even though I set up in the options, I set up the uh, cost calculations. Under um, when I went over here, and you double click under settings, um, you have to click apply cost calculation um, after rip, right? And calculate directly after rip, all right? So you're gonna press okay right there. And um, let's see if it came up, uh, cost report right here. Let me capture the data. Okay, not yet processed. So it's gonna go ahead and rip it again. And then if I click on it, cost report, boom. Wait a minute. Don't see it. Okay. Printed area, $1.30 per foot. Total ink amount cost, um, $5.55 per milliliter. And this is how much ink you're using, right? Calculated cost. Um, media cost. Media cost is not in there, but you guys know you can just take this amount of ink, $5.55, and add in your um, media cost, which is $1. I mean, what did we say? $2.10. So the whole shirt, I'd say, would take five, six, seven, uh, seven dollars and um, what are we seven uh, two ten seven dollars and uh, sixty five cent to uh, print this specific shirt all right so hypothetically speaking if if in fact that is the way that this um, formula works because there's no guidance on how this works but I don't know it seemed like that would make sense to me you know so um yeah you guys can play around with cost calculations and correct me as you guys learn um, how to use it better in in, in, um, in in this software because there's just nowhere no way no way of knowing and no way nobody shows us online how to do it right so um, hope this video was helpful guys um, thank you so much for watching share it out with other people share it to the group so people can know how to use the ColorGate software subscribe to my YouTube channel gonna br bring you plenty of content on the RI 1000 Guys, I am a Rico affiliate, so if you guys want to um, purchase a Rico DTG printer, use my Rico affiliate link down in the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby? Sweet, 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 sweet.